How do you guys feel about, like, how do you think people perceive people who have children before marriage? I think there's a lot of judgment um, with regards to that. I personally don't agree with it, obviously, but um, it's a thing. And I do feel like society has made it a normal thing. Um, yes, there are people that are totally against it, but then you get those that are like super fine with it, that support no. it, that celebrate it. And I get that, but um, yeah, I do feel like there's a lot of judgment when it comes to that. But like I said as well, it's become so normal that society has accepted. A child is always a blessing and a miracle. Um, so it's a bit sad to kind of bash the person in a way because I mean the child didn't really ask to be here and children are blessings but also on the other side it's like but you've always yeah you've always grown up to be taught that you need to wait until marriage and all that so it, it is a bit like bittersweet but uh, I guess I think like especially at the media it hides the responsibility behind it um, it's, it's made this fun, joyful experience, which it is, especially if there's love behind it, but forgetting the whole responsibility that when you have a child, it's, it's more, it's not just a fun experience, uh, not just this lustful thing. Yeah. 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 What do you guys think about abortion? Sure, I don't agree on that. <laughs> yeah. Abortion, no. I don't mm. agree on abortion. Abortion is something when you go for abortion, it's like you're killing yourself inside out, you see. And what God gave you, you can't yeah. go for something like abortion. Mm -hmm. no, I don't agree with abortion. No. 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 Your abortion is also like, we spoke before as well about it, where that child that is in that womb has a purpose. Exactly. You don't know what or where that child would have gone. That child could be the, the, the person that changes things in our country as well um, for women, for men. Um, like, you don't know and then you, you, you can't take that choice into your own hands whether they get to do it or not, whether they are able to be in this world or not. You just have to stick through it, um, even though it's not always easy, I believe. But abortion, especially, it breaks you down more than anything else. Totally, I totally disagree yeah. with abortion. I'm yeah. against it. But I think there's also that flip side of we we, we don't know what it's like to be in that person's yeah. shoes. Mm. We don't know their home situation or mm. their parents' situation or whatever. As much as I disagree with it 100 percent, but I think it's important to look at both aspects of it. Mm. Um, with the like. There's a lot of girls that know right from wrong, I'm sure. But yes, then there's also girls that are so not in educated in what yeah. is good mm. for your body, this is a bad thing, or yeah, they just haven't been educated or um, mentored, or they don't have people to speak to about these things, mm. and they make bad decisions like abortion. When you think of scenarios of people who've been sexually assaulted and things yes. like that, and you're just like, if I was in their shoes, like, what would I do type of thing? So it, it is also, I think, mostly it's very it's a, a tough thing to kind of just decide right now that okay no I'm totally against because once you're in that situation I think your brain is kind of gonna scramble a little yeah. Ugh, but yeah um, lastly okay so do you think that life can go on normally after you've had a child at our age I believe life will go on Yes. Whether you like it or not, whatever you're going through in life, whatever mm. traumatic experience, whatever life will go on, mm. it just won't be the same. A lot will change. Like Chris, Clarissa said, there will be responsibility that you'll have to take mm. on. You'll have to sacrifice a lot. Um, yeah, Financially, things might be really tough. Mm. You might have to work, you might have to give up studying, work, or whatever the case may be. Um, so life will go on. And I think it also depends on the family you come from. So you'll get the family that will support you, but also make sure you take on that responsibility. Mm. Yeah. Michaela, I also agree on it because you can still go uh, graduate events. Like, I saw a lot of girls that have children and they still go mm. and study after it mm. and graduate and yeah. do all that stuff. So, yeah. When you decide not to have an abortion and you do have that baby, yes, everything is going to change and uh, but then you also have to realize now it's not just about you anymore. Okay, it's about that child. Yes, exactly. 
Um, a lot of I've heard a lot of moms say that as soon as they get children, they don't have a life anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like I've heard it so many times. But I believe that that becomes your life as yeah. well. You exactly. you learn to to live live that way. You learn because it's something deeper. It's something within you. It's something that came out of you. So it is still you. Yeah. Um, so you would want the best for your child, even though sometimes people have to walk through it alone. I hope that if you're a young adult going through something or wondering about your womb, this was able to help you in some way. Bye! Oh, bye. <laughs>